using the same brush that we've been using this the whole time, that medium sized flat brush, we're going to be adding in all of our ripples using one of our darker colors. And we're gonna start with the turquoise color and then work our way to teals and then to white. And then finally, we're going to add in that last little bit of detail, which are the light filtering, which is the light filtering through the water. Now we're gonna be using the skinny side of our flat brush, which means we'll be holding it just like this and creating some fun little squiggly squiggle striation sketchy marks, just like this. Just make sure the only thing that you need to be aware of is that you're creating a fisheye effect, meaning you're just gonna be creating this circular motion using these forms. So we're starting with our darkest ones up here because it's actually going to be reflecting what's below it. So it's reflecting all these darker tones down here, at the very, very top, while also still highlighting and having the sunlight shining through. Now these darker lines are gonna go all the way to the edge, but keep in mind as they start to go further and further down, they're going to be going further away from us. So they're gonna get skinnier and less striation, so less sketchy openness like this and much closer together. So you see how we're framing it, making it a lot more thinner, closer, just like so. So you see, I'm not overthinking how all the lines that are going in right now. And of course, you know, take your time, learn, but be sure to not get too caught up on this part, guys. And so we're gonna take all those striations down to about the turtle shell and on either side, like on near the head, about right here. And then we're not gonna need to go any further, but we're gonna just immediately go ahead and switch over to our teal. So just kind of wipe off your brush a little bit, don't really have to clean it very well, and start adding in some of our bright, pretty teal. Now it might not show up too much because we already have a, a good layer of teal here, so it's just gonna blend right in with the other color that already exists. But definitely bring it up into the white a bit more. Just like so. Excellent. And then just kind of dry brush, you know, wipe off the paint a little bit and then grab some of your white. And then start just placing in nice portions of white, concentrating it in the center going down. And again, remember we're getting tighter, closer together as we go down the water column. But as we go up, there's more space for all of these hues. And we're just gonna make sure we have a few little white striations going off to the edges over here into these darker portions, just like so. And perfect. So now while we're gonna wait for that to dry, we're gonna jump down to our coral reef and we're gonna start adding in our color blocking. So we're gonna start with our really warm colors. And why we chose these warm colors is because they're a complement to all these really cool blues. So it's gonna create a lot of harmony and balance in our piece by adding in this nice little bit of warmth at the bottom. And of course, our sea turtle is gonna have a lot of warms as well. So whenever you're doing this, just keep in mind, you're going to want to add balance by having patches of this color over here and over here. Otherwise, it's going to become really imbalanced and it's not going to function correctly. 
So just whenever you add a color, kind of try to add it to the other side as well. So that was just our yellow we put in there. Now we're gonna grab some of our orange. We're gonna concentrate some orange down here at the bottom. It's gonna look nice. Maybe a little bit over here. I definitely wanna have some right here as well. And don't forget to grab some red. Be very, you know, just look very careful with how much red you're using. You don't wanna to use too much. It's a very powerful color and will definitely take over your piece very, very quickly if you don't watch out for it. So another color that's gonna be really important to this area is purple. So dioxine purple is the one that we're using today. Um, you, of course, you can use any purple that you have on hand, but purple is a, a great color to have in here because it's a complement of the yellow, so it really helps emphasize those yellow points. And it's also very dark, so it gives it some more contrast rather than having all these super bright brights. But what's really cool about this purple is once you add in a bit of teal, so just grab some of that teal color, add some teal in there, kind of swipe it around a little bit, all on the canvas, you'll start to get this gorgeous like purple, this like ultramarine purple, it's lovely. So you can just kind of add that in a couple places as well. And that looks really great. I'd also recommend adding in some turquoise, so the color that we used in the water, and then mixing that around as well. You can even add a little bit of yellow to that turquoise, and you'll get more of a greeny green color, which can look really, really nice um, in these particular kind of areas for coral reefs, because you're gonna be putting a lot of highlights on top of these, and it'll really pull it all together. So I'm gonna put some more turquoise down here, just like that. And so then just like that, you've now filled in with the color blocking um, into these all these corals right here. So we're gonna go ahead and actually add in some of the sand color into our background before we head back up to our water. And our sand is literally just going to be our white, a little bit of that quinacridone nickel alzo yellow. It's an amazing color. We're gonna be using it in our sea turtle a lot but it's also really, really awesome for the sand. So I just mixed a bit of white and a bit of that nickel together, just like that. And then I go back in and feather it with a bit more yellow. I mean, I'm sorry, a bit more white. So really we're just trying to capture the idea of where our sand is. And so you see how this is already adding a lot more warmth to this piece, but we're gonna have to pull back on that warmth. So we're gonna grab some of that teal. And the teal is going to help us distribute that a bit differently in the background. Let's kind of feather it. So again, we're using skinny side right now. It's gonna get a bit green, so just be aware that when you're adding that teal in with those colors, it's gonna green up real fast. So don't do it too much, or you'll just get a green background. So as soon as you do the teal, then you're gonna go back in with a bit of our dark blue color from earlier. So that's our phalo blue and we're going to redefine these areas a little bit more. And we're doing this because it's going to be darker in the background. So you also won't even see any of the warmth when we're all done in the background, but we want you to see warmth in the foreground. And now I'm just going to get some more of our just pure white. Just again, just to do a quick little highlight, add a little bit more interest right in here. And then a little bit off to the side over here as well, maybe a tiny bit back there. And then that's going to be it for us. As you see, we kind of are using a similar kind of motion that we were using up here, down here as well for the ripples in the sand. Excellent, guys. And it's okay if you went over some of your corals over here. We're far from being done with our corals. And now that we have that sand all done, we're gonna hop right back into doing our highlights in the water. So now we're gonna be working with a pretty wet brush, but first you wanna make sure you wash off that flat brush really, really well. You don't want any of those warm colors or it's gonna really throw off your feng shui. So grabbing some water, going to grab our teal first. We're gonna start with our teal as our base 
highlight color for our filtering light and then we're going to build up to our white. So just keep in mind that we are having the sunlight bursting through and we're going to want it to go over our little sea turtle right here because we still have to put in his color blocking and that's why we're doing this first. So you can have this all done and ready to go. And then all you have to worry about is detailing your little turtle after we get these initial steps done. So you see how I'm fanning out our colors here. So this is really important to create the effect of the light filtering around our turtle. So just keep in mind that we're trying to do a like burst of light coming into the water and just have patience, start from the bottom. And again, they are using this flat brush with a little bit of water, but not too much water. If you have too much water, then it really, it starts to drip and then you have a messy canvas. So it's gonna take a bit of finessing, but that's why we actually have an entire lesson just about this, creating this highlight effect and this filtering light effect in water, which I'll link to um, right now. And of course, so if you wanna try that out first, before you go all in with your sea turtle painting, please do that and let us know your thoughts. We're here to help you guys on your creative journey. So please feel free to always ask us questions. Fantastic. So now we've got our teal little rays in, just like so. And we're gonna switch over to the white now. So you're just gonna switch over to the white. And I didn't even clean off my brush with the teal because we actually still want to have a transition layer. So we don't want it to just go from teal to pure white. We're gonna want there to be this mixing of teal and white until we finally reach our brightest brights, which will be obviously white. Fantastic. Again, I'm grabbing some more white. Going up a layer. You also don't want to have too much paint loaded on your brush for this step. If you do, it's going to become really, really heavy in the white um, and it's going to completely take over your background in which we still want to have some of that background showing between all of our lights and our highlights here. So just be aware of that. It's a patience and taking the time You'll definitely get there. Just relax and have fun. This is all, it's all a learning experience and we are here to help you if you have any questions. Excellent. So I'm pretty happy with that. We might go back in later and add just a few more little extra highlights and we'll clean up some more of that water later. But first we're gonna let that dry and then we'll hop right into our turtle in the next step. Take care of our turtle and then we'll do our final touch-ups in the background.